people keep asking me what's going on in the world of bees. So I thought an interesting time to catch you would be going from winter into spring when you're starting to see what kind of season, how they held out for the winter. I like bees. That's why I'm in the business. Winter loss. I've lost probably between 50 and 60 percent. Very little to the fact that I didn't leave them enough honey. I leave a colony of bees at least 80, 90 pounds, which was sufficient to get them through the winter. But there's other aspects here like uh, pesticides and a disease. It's a constant battle with bees right now. And, and, no. So maybe we could go over to a beehive. And I'd love to. I have my smoker lit already. Ah. First of all, you never go to a bee colony to work on it without smoke. And what smoke does to them, they actually believe that their home is on fire. They gorge themselves with honey, and they're much docile, much more docile to work on. And I'm not going to wear a bee veil. I'm not going to wear a bee veil because I do not believe that I'm going to get stung at all. And I don't think anybody here is going to get stung. Oh. There was no bees here when, when Columbus discovered America. They were all brought in from Europe. And this is a European strain. It's a mixed strain of bee. This rock's on here because I don't want the cover to blow off. Okay. <laughs> rock. rock. That ro that's a rock. <laughs> Useful tool. Okay. So on every colony I have a cover, a insulating pad, and an inner cover, which is this right here. Give them a puff of smoke, let them know I know that I'm here. Take the cover off so I don't smash any. Now you start internal components of the hive consist of frames made of beeswax that the bees can store honey, the queen can lay eggs, and they can also store pollen. Would you like me to bring that frame over by that camera? Uh, no, it's okay. I think I got it here. You see the uh, uh, sherry? See the liquid in there? That's, yeah. that's the, <laughs> this is a feisty little thing. Yeah. That yeah. is the nectar, that, that's the nectar, yeah. that's the nectar that they brought in from, uh, from uh, dandelion already. You see how they store it in the corner? Okay, the brood. You notice how solid this brood is right here? That's the sign of a great queen. She's a good lady. Uh -huh. Yes. That, so that brown, and, that and brown... Uh, this right here, closed. and in here is all the stages of the egg. First the queen lays the egg, and it turns into larva, and then it turns into the pupa stage, and then they cap it over and it hatches. But look how, look how nice they hang on to that. And Could you do the um, stages again? Could you show me that again? Yep, it starts from the egg. Now, if you got a good enough eye, I can still see it. There's eggs down in the bottom of that cell which hatch into a larva, uh -huh. which then graduate into a pupa. That is already the outline of a bee. And then they seal it, feed it, and then it hatches after 21 days. Now, just look at the number of bees that are going to hatch from that comb. Each one of them is a bee. She, a queen can lay 2,000 eggs a day if she has the need. Mm -hmm. So then making sure that you don't squash any, any stuff here. So you have a plan for this hive now? I have a plan for this hive. This, this hive is going to make up at least two to three mm -hmm. colonies that have died. So this is one of the stronger hives in the this is one of the stronger ones. There's another one over there that needs, it actually needs room. 
so or if it hasn't got any room anymore it'll swarm mm -hmm. hang on a tree which if it hangs on the neighbor's property the neighbor owns it first thing a, oh, I'm sorry the first thing a beekeeper does when he looks at a comb he looks at a cell that looks different than the rest. Now you see that cell is moving? That bee's ready to hatch. That's why that looks oh, different. Oh my goodness. That's why that looks different. See, look at here she comes. Wow, it's amazing. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Won't yep. you come on in? Here she comes. Huh. Look how docile they are, huh? That nice. What's the matter, baby? You got a trouble getting out there? Well, come on. Here it comes. And if you looked at that, that bee... That is really... So I've never seen that. Now, if you looked at that bee under a microscope, it would look like a hairy creature. Got hair. Well, welcome to the world, welcome bee. Welcome to the world, Your bee. Your work begins <laughs> now. <laughs> well, you've seen that, didn't you? And here's a bee collecting pollen. See the yellow on its legs? So this is a bee collecting pollen. That's right. She's going to deposit the pollen in the cells here and then go back for another load. That's what this is right here. This is, this is pollen. Right? That's their protein. They need that. In fact, when a bear upsets the beehive, that's what they're after. They're after the protein and the, the cells of bees. What is this one doing here? Which one? That one. Which one? Mm, this one. He's right there. No, oh, he's packing. He's packing pollen into that cell with his head, uh -huh. with her head. With her These head. are all females. Uh, the drones, the males, are all killed off before winter time, and I don't see any yet. But these cells will all hatch drones right here. The big cells right here. The big cells. The cell determines the sex of A lot the, bee. of the beekeepers. Don't believe that, but I know that to be true. They make a special cell for the queen, they make a special cell for the drone, which is right here, and they make a special cell for the working bee, for the worker, for the Oh, there's another one hatching. There's another one hatching. Now, now this has a, uh, this has an extracting super on it. A super meaning the word surplus. The bees would, the bees always work up, they never work down. They store honey on the top, the queen lays her eggs in the bottom too. That's the way it usually works. And this one is heavy. This has got a lot of honey to eat, this colony right here. So we take this box off, which has no brood in it. This is all honey. I'll show you. No brood, all honey. All honey, yes. A queen, yep. This is, this is honey that they overwintered on. You notice that it's granulated? See? That's what they're eating right now. And the yellow is the pollen. See the yellow here? That's their protein. Honey is their carbohydrate. Pollen is their protein. And, and uh, honey has actually all the uh, the nutrients that the bees need to sustain life. So how people always ask me, how many hives of bees does your father have? I have 300 now. And you used to have? 1,200. Okay. There it is, on record. There it is, on record. I still produce honey, and I do believe that I have the best honey in the Northeast. Well, there are some bees that rob other bees. Mm -hmm. And that's like that right now is uh, right now here. as we're looking at these bees there are some bees checking other hives out and if they ain't strong enough they'll rob them out
It's a very harsh society. So are those called venture capitalist bees? Venture capitalist okay. bees. <laughs>